Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, part two of the Roberts Repair. I thought this was going to be a pretty difficult job to do, but it's not. I've done it. Took me five minutes. Apparently, we had we had low FM, and it was this wire here. Let's just get my pointer. This wire here had come off, and. Plenty of volume on that now. Wow. Still not much action on the long wave. But you don't get much on there anyway, but I will look into that. And the AM, medium wave. There we go. Really love to be alone. <laughs> when you think I can, think Manchester Bank. Satisfaction guaranteed. Wine and dine in the traditional surroundings of Oakland's Hall. There we go. In 1830, this former. Well, that's medium and uh, FM working. Let's just have a quick look at the... Let's put the aerial down a minute so I don't damage it. Now, let's have a look at the long wave. Now. Hmm. Yeah, the problem could be inside that module. I'm just looking now for any more wires that might have come adrift and... I can't see that there is any. It all looks pretty okay. Just checking the. I'm just checking the loop antenna, the the ferrite rod antenna, aerial to check, make sure that we're. Let's uh, just there we go, right. And I also want to. Tidy this transistor up as well. Where I've put this transistor, and I don't want it stick, sticking right up there. So I want to tidy that up as well. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause the video while I do that. There we go, folks. Uh, we're all back together again. Uh, and. <laughs> We're all working. There's your there's your FM. Plenty of volume on it. Don't buy your 
and a Congress in the United States. Almost 100,000 people are classed as homeless. Longwave on this radio is working, it's just the button's a bit dicky. Responded Michael Buchanan. The trends behind So. with crazy crazy nice but you knew that right well that's uh that's that's the roberts r600 from the early 70s and i don't know why my camera's juddering like that uh from the early late seven late 60s early 70s and this is a nice radio it's in lovely condition and i am really pleased Oops, there we go. I'm really pleased I managed to get this one sorted out and working. And for, as a point of interest, uh, for those who would like to know, uh, the transistor I used, uh, I replaced the AC128 with a AC188 it's a I, che I did check it in the equivalence book and it's a direct replacement and which it obviously is Ford ruling allowing it to keep because foil wraps the radio now works and that's all for this uh this uh, that's all for this repair i was going to touch up the alignment but there's not really much need light uh don't need to check the alignment uh, this radio came from an old gentleman who I know, and uh, I don't believe anybody had ever tampered with it. I mean, it had a battery in it that was about thirty years old. Luckily, it hadn't leaked, so I don't I don't believe it's ever been tampered with. So I'm prepared to leave it at that. I'll just give that long wave button a quick a quick uh, bit more of a switch cleaner, get a bit more into it, and uh, uh, for this radio, uh, that's done. Uh, thanks for watching, folks, and. More to come when I get another radio or anything else to repair. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.